Hey everybody, this is Bob with another audio tutorial. This time we're going to take a look at creating vocal harmony in Melodyne. What I have pulled up here is my song Taylor Made, and I want to harmonize the lead vocal in the bridge of this song. So let's take a listen, see what it sounds like without the vocal harmony. You're tailor made with nice curves, you slinky rounded too. I'm getting more from you than you from me. So what I've done is I've cut out this part of the vocal right here that I want to harmonize with. I put it on another track, put one instance of a Melodyne plug in, and, uh, and now we're going to uh, pitch shift that and make it harmonize with our lead vocal. So this is the dry vocal recording, the way it came right off the microphone. And I didn't want to add any EQ compression or anything. I just want to listen to what Melodyne is doing to the vocal. So you also, when you add your plugins, you want Melodyne here to be the first uh, plugin in your chain. So nothing interferes with the uh, with the pitch. So pitch the vocal first and then process it later, basically. So I transferred the audio offline since you have to do it in real time. Uh, I'm going to highlight them all. And a couple of things uh, to note here. The, um, the lead vocal obviously was not pitch corrected because you can see they're slightly out of tune in places and that's and that's fine so I'm gonna leave the lead vocal untuned and I'm gonna pitch correct this harmony part so I'm gonna put these um, both the pitch drift and pitch center right on the grid and I'm doing this for a couple of reasons one I don't want the harmony part to sound exactly like the lead part and number two I want these on the grid so I can see where they fall in the key make sure they're not out of the key of my song for example I played this song um, and sang it in the key of G so there's one sharp that's F sharp so if I find uh, something on a grayed out um, lane here I know that that's a sharp key right and here they are along the side so it's basically like the uh, keys on a piano the white areas are white keys and the grayed out areas are the black keys so um, we'll take a look at that in a minute. So I pitch corrected this. They're all right on the grid. And now I just want to uh, look for things that um, maybe it moved it the wrong way. So let me just let me just play it here. You're tailor made with nice curves. You're slinky rounded too. I'm getting more from you. This note here was kind of slid. Um, has a little slide up and here it kind of moved it right on the grid. So I'm just going to move those together like that. I'm getting more from you. Same here. I'm getting more from you than you from me. So there's all this drift right here. So I'll try to fix that a little bit. And you hear that vibrato in there, so we can knock out some of that by the uh, pitch modulation tool. So, again, I'm going to just select them all. I'm going to do that to all of them. And we just pull down the vibrato of this whole thing. You're tailor made. This one here. It's going to sound better being on the, on the note C. You're tailor made with nice curves. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, notice this one here falls on F sharp. That's fine. That's in the key of the song. Um, this one here, that's just kind of passing. It's just pitch drift. So we're good. We're good with all this. So I'm going to highlight all this and I'm going to move it up a major third. So that's four semitones. I'll just count two, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to notice what notes are falling on black keys or sharp keys. There's one. I'll move it. And let's see this one here. Here's three notes right here. We can move that down. 
Same here. Move all of those up there. And let's see what this sounds like with, with the lead vocal. You're tailor-made with nice curves. You're slinky-rounded, too. I'm getting more from you than you from me. That kind of that kind of went up. We're going to move this back down here. And let's see what that sounds like. Than you from me. That sounds better. Okay, so we have a good start. So now I'm just going to solo up the harmony track that I have here. And let's just start with some EQ. Any EQ will work here. First thing I want to do is start with a high pass. You're tailor-made with nice curves. You're slinky-rounded, too. So I'm going to pull off some of that, uh, some of that low end. And I want to do the same thing with a low-pass filter. You're tailor-made with nice curves. You're slinky-rounded, too. Okay, we want it to sit back a little bit, so we don't want all that high end in there. And then there's some, um, there's some boxiness in there, so probably right around 500. Let's pull this cue down. There we go. You're tailor-made with nice curves. Here, how boxy that sounds right there. So it's about 520 or so. So we're just going to scoop out a little bit right there. Somewhere around 520. You're tailor-made with nice curves. So let's smooth the dynamics out a little bit with the compression. Look how um, how the attack is real strong at the uh, beginning of some of these waveforms. So um, And you can hear that at the very beginning here. So let's grab a compressor. Any compressor will work just fine. You're tailor-made. You're tailor-made. You're tailor-made. You're tailor-made. You tailor made. Here's uh, with it bypassed. You tailor made. You tailor made with nice curves. Gonna put a, a little reverb on this track. I think I already have bust out. Yeah, hall reverb. That'll work. You tailor made. You tailor made. Now I'm going to drown that in reverb. It's a lot more than I would do on the lead vocal. So we'll see how that sounds. The other thing I want to do is put a delay plug in so it's not right on top of the lead vocal. So let's see. Let's check this out. So here's my delay plug in. Let's see. Let's pull this down to zero. Uh, we don't want it beat synced. 100% wet. Yeah, so now we're going to have to compare this um, to the lead vocal. So we'll get both of those going on. Let me just put it out here at 100, and you, you can hear what we have. This is 100 milliseconds. You tailor made with nice curves. So that, that's what I'm going after, some separation. That's obviously too much, but just wanted to make sure the plug-in was working like I wanted it to. So, uh, yeah, you don't want any feedback. You, uh, you want it 100% wet, so you're basically shifting this track um, later in time is what we're doing. So let's try 30 milliseconds and see what we got. You're tailor-made with nice curves. And let's try 60. You're tailor-made with nice curves. Yeah, that's a little bit much. Back it off to 50. You're tailor made with nice curves. I like that. So there you go. We doubled the lead vocal and then we pitch shifted it with Melodyne, added just a little bit of EQ, compressed it to even, even it out a little bit, and then we put a delay plug in in there to kind of shift it so it's not right on top of the lead vocal. And then we added some reverb, quite a bit of reverb, actually. So let's see what this sounds like in the context of the rest of the mix. You're tailor-made with nice curves. You're slinky-rounded, too. Okay, let's listen to it without the harmony part. You're tailor-made with nice curves. Now turn the harmony part on. You're tailor-made with nice curves. It's a little bit... A little bit too high in the mix, so we could bring it down. You're tailor-made with nice curves. 
you slinky round it too. So there you go, a great way to add vocal harmony using Melodyne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. You're tailor made with nice curves. You're slinky rounded too.